Dr. Jaffe, graphene and graphene oxide are being used more and more in today's time. Can you explain what are these molecules and what are their effects on the human body? And do we plan on maybe testing it on the LRP testing? Well, graphene is polymers of carbon. Graphene being, say, 60 carbon molecules long is non-immunogenic. It will not respond to a T cell and B cell assay. So we could prove what others have seen and proven, but no, we will not be testing by LRA uh, the graphene or the graphene oxide. Now, what are they? They're very interesting molecules. They were initially introduced by um, a, a, a man who was truly a genius. And they were studied extensively by Rocky Mountain Institute and Amory Lovins and others. So I have followed the graphene story for 20 or more years. And because antioxidant deficiency and oxidative damage is so prominent, any new antioxidant will get a look. It's a potent antioxidant that does we don't know what in places we don't know why. We don't know much about it yet. I consider it pharmacology, not physiology. The body doesn't make or use graphene. So if you're going to introduce it orally, which you can, you're going to introduce a potent antioxidant that might just imbalance the oxidative antioxidant balance of homeostasis. That's a very profound, important area to not mess with, homeostasis, self-rebalancing. So while I'm fairly current with the literature on graphene and graphene oxide, the few more or less anecdotal studies of their use as dietary supplements do not convince me that we know enough to use them. So I recommend waiting. It turns out people have been trying to turn this into a drug or a dietary supplement for many years, and they really have had marginal success. I'm not quite sure why, but I'm quite sure that this is a novel molecule that is not found in biology, and I have enough to do optimizing biology. And I'm very confident that if we do optimize biology, we won't need to reach for an exotic new antioxidant like graphene or graphene oxide. 